All right, PulseX incentive token. Richard Hart tweeting, watching PulseX devs test some features. I could see the stake in PLSX to get the incentive token, but not PLSX as there is no inflation. Cessna is going well. So we have a very blatant copy of Pancake Swap. Well, fork of Pancake Swap here. Didn't even change the colors. Looks good. This UI gets me very excited because I made a boatload of gains on Pancake Swap. Um, I got into Pancake Swap with like 75 cents and rode it all the way. Pause. All right, so what we see here is we got this blocked out. I'm curious. I've been trying not really dig into this, but like wrap my mind around what's covered up here. We see the auto PLSX, automatic staking, recent PLSX profit, PLSX staked, no APY, and the total staked. So there are these auto pools on PancakeSwap where basically you can stake your cake and earn pretty decent yield. I mean, it was really high at the beginning, but 62% APY. When you stake cake, oh, that's what's there. <laughs> that's what's in that box, the IF, maybe it's the IFO, maybe not. I'm just speculating here, but IFO, I, I could see something like that. I could see an IF, IFO after the DAO. Now with these pools, you have you don't have to, but you leave your cake, your, your PLSX in this pool and it automatically compounds your cake so you get an apy and this one it's manual so you only get an apr so this one naturally is of the better return now what's interesting here is you can't have automatic i mean unless it's going and buying back i mean that's maybe that's what it's doing i mean the only way that you could maybe i'm not gonna say the only way because i'm not the all-knowing but i've been in the space for a long time and I've never seen something say automatic restaking and it's not staking, restaking the coin. It's just doesn't make sense. Um, manual makes sense. You know, that's that's the first question I have as well. How is there automatic restaking? Maybe it buys back and then restakes. That would could be something new, innovative. And, and another, another thing people are really, you know, concerned about is what is the value of the incentive token? Right. If there's no value in the token or no reason to buy it, rather, if there's no reason to buy it, it's going to just go down in value as people stake PLSX and sell it to buy more PLSX or buy more hex or whatever they're going to do with their rewards. It's obvious. And then he like throws these curveballs and it's like, but no, 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 that's not what it is. That's not what it is. But it's like obvious, like automatically restaking unless you're going to change this. How can you automatically restate this? APR is four. This will probably be real for a, for a, a couple hours. Four four point eight million, and people are gonna get so red. But this is gonna. These are actual real APYs that will be around for a hot second, and they'll be in the high thousands for a couple of days. I'm just curious about this incentive token, and really, if it's needed, because if you're buying back PLSX anyway, you might as well buy that PLSX and throw it in a pool and pay it out as rewards. <laughs> you know, that's what this looks like. But hey, I don't know anything. I'm just trying to play detective and have fun speculating. Um, either way, this is all very bullish, um, especially for someone like me or someone who's been following me who knows exactly what this is and knows how to win. So far, this is, I mean, this is a cakewalk. Like literally, this is a cakewalk. These pools right here, if you just have the mentality of PLSX, you're going to do really good. The The wreck part is when people start coming over here to these farms. So I would, I would do if I were you and if I were someone, you know, new to crypto, I would look into yield farming and figure out what it were, how it works and how you get wrecked on it and how you make profit. That's where, you know, it's easy, but it's not easy at the same time. It's um, farming is, is a mentality you have to have with farming. Um, you have to love these two tokens. You don't have to, but you should like these two tokens. If you already, if you like these two tokens, you'll do fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll get some rewards. You can compound them and buy more LP tokens and, you know, have more of those two coins that you like. But... If you're on the, the side of, oh, I'm going to jump in the hot cross with my BNB and farm it and Dandy's you're going to lose all your money. Okay. 
So I'm a fan of pools like BUSD, BNB, Cake BNB, USDC, BUSDC. So yeah, there's gonna have to be some type of incentive to hold that. And I'm pretty sure they know that, and I'm pretty sure they've already figured that out. 